Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 15th to the 21st of April 2019 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Sagittarius. So I'm pulling my healing cards, I've not used them for a couple of weeks, seeing what the messages are for this week. And then I'll pull an angel card as an extra dimension and then a tarot cards. And then tarot cards, I should say. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, that just fell out. Okay, we have... Okay, okay. We have sadness and also help from above. Maybe you've been through a sad time, Sagittarius. Maybe a challenging time, something that's made you sad. Something that might have affected your heart. But there's also help from above, which is beautiful. Let me just get sadness up. Okay, let me read this out to you. It's easy to swallow your sadness and hide behind a fake smile. Yet sadness can open the door to your heart and help you access compassion. Beautiful. Absolutely. Emotional growth, however difficult. Help from above. Let me read this out to you. Your positive intentions and heartfelt, pra heartfelt prayers have been heard. Wow. Your positive intentions and heartfelt prayers have been heard. That's powerful stuff, Sagittarius. Let me pull an angel card. Angels, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? What do we have for Sagittarius? 15th to the 21st of April 2019. What do we have for Sagittarius? What's the message? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What's the message? Okay. Spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. It is saying very much sadness might have happened in your life, whatever format that took, Sagittarius. But you're now being divinely guided to move forward. And it's now, t now's the time. Let me pull some tarot cards. Let me pull some tarot cards. You know, emotional growth is powerful. Because it teaches you your vulnerability. It teaches you about yourself. It makes your heart bigger. What do we have for Sagittarius cards? 15th to the 21st of April 2019. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? What do we have for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? Yeah. Unsurprising. That makes sense. But it's fine. I'll go into that. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. So. The devil. Okay, another card popped out. Two of Swords. You can't make choices, you're stuck. But it's saying the time is now. Divine timing, divine timing. Opportunity arising, most definitely. Yeah, divine timing. It's time to awaken. Time to move forward, release the past. If that's not a clearer message, I don't know what is Sagittarius. This is really powerful stuff. How clear is that message? How clear is that message? What else do we have cars? I've got goose pimples, honestly. Such a clear message. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Yeah, there's too many there. What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay. I think they still want to come out, so here we are. A new beginning as an offer. 
grabbing your wand of power, your wand of opportunity, taking action. Moving on. Growth and expansion, yeah. Self-love, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, whatever's gone on in the past, Sagittarius, it's kind of saying, now's the time to move forward. Now's the time to progress, however difficult. You know, moving on is not easy. It's not easy. So, we start with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, the Swords of Truth, going through the heart can talk about wounds, scars, being hurt, deeply hurt, deeply let down, deeply disappointed, heartbreak, could be the end of a relationship, or doing the end of something that you love, the end of something that you love as well. Sometimes this can link to passion on the business front, doing something that was true to your heart, doing something that you enjoyed. It's over. But it's saying that the truth needed to come out, however brutal that truth was. And the rain in the background, the clouds, very much what was going on in your mind, Sagittarius. You couldn't think clearly with this. I think there was emotional highs, a lot of sadness, and also a lot of clouded, you know, clouded mind, you know, with memories from the past, hurts, despair upset yeah the other thing about this card is it kind of says that you needed to you needed this to happen in order to move forward and certainly with divine timing being here and judgment being here karma being here it was very much saying that this needed to happen in order to you, for you to move on, in order for you to awaken to a situation and to yourself, your own true capabilities, valuing yourself, finding love for yourself. We start with self-love, because if we don't love ourselves, how can we ask other people to love us? There has to be self-love. It's a really powerful energy, and it's a lesson, because it says that... It's time to heal from this situation and not fall into this illusion. This illusion of negativity where you don't feel you've got a grip on your life, you don't got, feel like you've got a grip on your emotions. Your, your mind is playing tricks on you most definitely. And that's very much the devil energy. This can also be the fact that you could have been manipulated there could have been an illusionary relationship and the truth came out. This can also talk about third party relationships. Somebody could have cheated on somebody. Again, Capricorn, this is a Capricorn energy. This could be um, where the relationship was unequal. Maybe where you lost that love for yourself because you were giving so much to your partner at the time. And it says the illusion needed to be broken. That's why the swords of truth go through the heart. Swords, they reveal. They reveal truth, they, they reveal clarity. They reveal honesty, the honesty of the situation. And I think you could have been manipulated you could have been giving your power away to somebody else. Maybe somebody had you exactly where they wanted you. Now, this could also be on the business front, let down in business, let down by a partner um, in business, could be at a boss. Something that you were passionate about. Yeah. And it's affected you for a time to the point where you couldn't really make decisions. You were on your guard. You see, this person has crossed arms. They're on their guard over their heart. Their heart's been heard, hurt, and they're, they literally cross their arms over their heart. 
and they have swords. Yeah, defensive heart, closing off their heart to love again, closing off their heart to love, to self-love. Also, the swords can link to the mind, not being able to see the truth, the clarity in order to make choices. Again, very much linking to this kind of like cloudy rain, cloud and rain that were appearing on the three of swords card. Very much what your mind, the state of your mind at that time. Emotions running high with the water in the background representing emotions. Emotions running high as well so you couldn't make clear decisions. And you have to wait till you see through this illusion in order to make choices. Now, I love this card. Judgment. Everybody is judged. You were judged by your actions. And whoever hurt you is judged by their actions as well. Whatever situation or person might have hurt you or group of people. This is an awakening. This is saying it's time. It's time to move on. It's, time, it's that point in time, these people stand naked, they carry no baggage. They let go of the past. It's time to let go of the past. And by doing so, you get a real awakening from within of your true self, of your own capabilities, of your own light. How you can shine. And leave people who have treated you badly. Leave them to karma. Because it does happen. Sagittarius, it does happen. Karma doesn't miss anybody. And you need to move on now with your own life and not put focus on other people because it's just keeping you stuck in negativity, in your mind, in your heart, in your emotions. It's time to move on and look at these two cards. Knight of Swords. Beginning to see clearly. Getting clarity where there wasn't clarity. This is right under the Two of Swords. Finding that ambition again. Ambition for life, moving forward. And I also feel that with that sword, you are cutting away the past. You are cutting away people that don't serve you anymore. People who are not positive influences in your life. And as soon as you do that, a beautiful new beginning comes in and you feel, you feel that ambition. You feel that, that drive, that passion, that desire. Now, this could be also communication coming in, positive communication. Could be where you might be looking to change your life for the better. So, for example, it could be communication regarding a job, because this could be the offer of a job, communication on that. Um, it could also be communication on... some kind of like communication or message that propels you on to a new beginning. So it could be somebody in your life that is helping you push forward to a new beginning as well. And my goodness, that is powerful. Grabbing your wand of power. This is divine guidance. Again, divine guidance. We said, you know, this is divine guidance, help from above. The universe meeting you halfway. Grabbing your wand of opportunity. Opportunities presenting themselves. Curiously. Maybe unexpectedly. Uh, because this is... The Page of Cups, which can be a card of unexpectedness. Unexpected opportunities arise that you're just out of the blue. So, yeah. Beautiful energies. And you're at the beginnings. Sorry, let me put those back. You're at the beginnings of something. This is, see, see how the cards are laid out? This is the devil where you give control to other people, whether it's in your mind, your thoughts, when you think about people, you give control to them. You know, it could be in your physical world as well. But this is you taking your power back from that devil energy. So it's powerful. Now, you're at the beginnings of change. You're bringing about change, change of heart. Change also in maybe a job situation, career venture potentially, or just actually finding a change of... Finding yourself more on solid ground or appreciating 
solid relationships that have supported you. But I kind of think this is more finding solid ground with this page of pentacles. There could be opportunities, as I said, pre that present themselves to you. And this could bring about a change on the business front, potentially. Um, real expansion and growth, the beginnings of real expansion and growth with the page of pentacles. So, yeah. And also, you know, long-term material wealth. So really good, really good card. And again, this can be the card of the unexpected. So unexpected communication may be coming in um, to propel you forward. Again, divinely guided. This could also be how you surprise yourself in pushing forward as soon as you change that attitude. And as soon as you wake up to letting go of whatever has been holding, holding you back from progressing, this is where you might find yourself being surprised. And you begin to find that self-love, self-love, and understand the importance of it, doing things from the heart again. Maybe a change of heart on a situation. Um, yeah, it could well be. Um, so I'm just, it could well be the fact that you're finding that self love, and it could well be an offer of love from somebody new, potentially. This is quite a young card. So I kind of think it's probably more self-love. But there could be some communication regarding love on offer for you as well. So, yeah, new relationships might beckon to Sagittarius. So, yeah, it's a beautiful, a beautiful energy. And I think you're moving from that sad phase to really finding what you're made of. And it's powerful, powerful. I hope... You enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.